Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of ruptured appendix with seal perforation and mesenteric lymphadenitis. If appendicitis is not treated, it can rupture. As a result, bacteria are released into the abdomen and cause a serious infection. It can make the patient very sick and be hard to treat. Appendix is a small thin worm-like sac. It is located where small and large intestine connect in the lower abdomen on the right side. You can see the localization of the appendix and in the lower portion of the abdomen, lower portion of the ascending column you can see multiple small and large lymph nodes in large abdominal lymph nodes are frequently encountered in asymptomatic children and should not always be considered abnormal in large abdominal lymph nodes exceeding 10 mm in their short Shortest axis in children with abdominal pain may represent mesenteric lymphadenitis of various causes. You can see the largest lymph node measures more than 1 cm. So sonogram of the normal mesenteric lymph nodes show that they are ovoid with a prominent fatty hilum and a short axis diameter in this case is more than 1 cm, more than 10 mm, but normally they should be less than 5 mm. A thickened ileum and cecum and a normal appendix are depicted adjacent to the enlarged lymph nodes in the patient with mesenteric lymphadenitis and terminal ileocolitis. You can see multiple enlarged lymph nodes and shortly you are going to see the size of the lymph node, the largest lymph node seen in this case. Mesenteric lymph nodes are considered to be enlarged when their short axis was 8 mm or more. So this is described by many authors as 8 mm, 10 mm. Although 3 mm has previously been used as upper limit for the short axis diameter of mesenteric lymph nodes. Up to 39% of the healthy normal patients have larger nodes than this. So this is not the criteria. The criteria of about 8 mm to 10 mm should be used. The patient is a child, male child aged about 14 years. A young normal adult body contains up to 450 lymph nodes of which about 60 to 70 are found in the head and neck, 100 in the thorax and as many as 250 in the abdomen and pelvis. Mesenteric lymph adenitis is an inflammation of the lymph nodes. The mesenteric lymph nodes which become inflamed are in the membrane that att attaches the intestine to the abdominal wall that is called mesentery. There are hundreds of lymph nodes that help the body fight against diseases. They trap and destroy microscopic invaders like viruses or bacteria. Now again you can see the lower portion of the ascending column near the cecum.
Now this is the appendix and the size of the appendix is small as it has ruptured and the fluid has gone outside its body. It is generally thought about appendix that it doesn't have any important function. So it can be removed without causing harmful effects. But the fact is that there it traps the microscopic organisms like bacteria and viruses and kill them. Appendix appendicitis can happen at any age, but it is seen mostly in children and teenagers between the ages of 10 to 20 years it is more common in males as in this case the patient is a male child about 14 years now you can see the free fluid seen in the caudal portion of the appendix inflamed appendix and the fluid is thick and turbid and has leaked out of the ruptured appendix. A study in the Journal of American College of Surgeons found that risk of rupture was less than 2% when appendix was treated within 36 hours of the start of the symptoms. It increased to 5% when it was treated 36 hours or more after the start of the symptoms. Now again you can see the appendix and a small tiny hole, a small tear is seen in the caudal portion of the inflamed appendix. The exact cause of appendicitis is not known for sure. It is probably due to the infection that triggers inflammation inside the appendix. Now this is the tear or hole, this is breach in the membrane of the outer membrane of the appendix, appendicular wall from where the fluid has leaked out. When the opening of the appendix gets blocked, bacteria can get trapped inside the inside it up inside the appendix and reproduce quickly causing an infection if infection goes untreated pressure builds up and the appendix swells eventually it swells so much that the blood supply uh, to part of the appendix get blocked that part of the wall then dies and it may rupture Now you can see again the fluid, thick fluid seen, sealed perforation in the caudal portion of the inflamed appendix just above the pelvis. A hole or tear developed in the dead wall. The high pressure pushes the bacteria and pus into the abdominal cavity. So a ruptured append appendix usually oozes or leaks into the abdomen rather than bursting like balloon. So this is as in this case leaked appendix and the fluid is collected in the dependent portion. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.